Josh, a steady stream of people have come by this memorial today to pay their respects and mourn the loss of Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. Carrying flowers, cards, and prayers, the community is showing their love for a fallen hero. Everything that these police officers do for us every single day, they're heroes, and to have this happen and to have it in such a senseless way, I think it's just something, something needs to be done. And I wanted to come out here and pay my respects to the family. So I know what it's like to lose a loved one. Former Greensboro City Councilman Zach Matheny's wife died three and a half years ago. He and his children came out to lay handwritten cards at the memorial and to say thank you to all police officers for their service. And when you lose a loved one that was serving our community to make not only us safe, my children safe, your children safe, the community safe. It's gut wrenching. Matheny's daughter shared what she wrote in her thank you letter to Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. I just wrote thank you for serving our community for 22 years and that you'll be missed and loved by many. Matheny spoke about the character of Sergeant Nix and that a police officer is never off duty. The integrity that our women and men have that they're not off duty. They're, they're never off duty, um, you know, and to step up and it's the place that he used to go to often, um, you know, they've got a table set aside for him and um, he wanted to protect the people that he probably saw every day, maybe buying a cup of coffee or just getting gas or, or whatnot. Matheny has a simple message for the city as they begin to heal from this tragic loss. We got to flip the switch, you know, it's a new year, it's a new day. Um, it's going to be tough for the Knicks family. It's going to be tough for GPD and fire. He had a lot of members of his family that, that serve in the fire department. Um, you know, our goal, I don't make resolutions, but I do today, is to just be thankful for what we've got, uh, be appreciative, and to love a little bit more. And what we're hearing time and time again from folks as they stop by this memorial is just the need to stop the violence in this community. In Greensboro, I'm Chris Peterson, WXII 12 News.